Hi, Anon Pencil. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. We can do the club orgy. Like, that'll bring in a lot of members. Definitely. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, you know, Pencil. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's sort of... But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. For the orgy. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Hmm. I like it in on pencil. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. <laughs> oh, jeez. No, no. It kind of makes me think of something Natsuki would write. And she's a good writer, too. So, take that as a compliment. <laughs> if you say so. Yep. By any chance, have you read anything by Shel Silverstein? I have. I have two of his books. Yeah, I have. Uh, maybe a long time ago. He's famous for telling all kinds of stories with just a few simple words. His poems can be funny, endearing, or even sad. And sometimes, they're only a few lines long. They might even feel like they're written for kids. But if you think about them, they can express views of the world that would apply to anybody. I see. So you're saying that Natsuki is kind of like that? Sort of. Maybe she's not an expert. But you probably won't find much filler in her poems. They might be easy to write, but they're super challenging to get the meaning through. So, I can see why it would be your kind of poem to explore. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to kind find what kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little biased towards their own kinds of styles. But I'll always help you find what suits you the most yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Fuck no. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel Test. Okay. Testing! Go for it. Do I need to turn on the music again, guys? Might be smart. Well, I'll do that in a second. There's a hole in the wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction the spackle protrudes? A nosy neighbor, an angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind, like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas, already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And that he was on the other side, looking in. That's distressing a little bit. That's distressing okay. as fuck. Yeah, it's just a lot of little Is things. Is that implying that, like... By us playing this game, we're removing any element of choice from the players themselves? I'm fuck, I don't know, man. Like, well, let me get out of this and change the music volume, because it is kind of loud still. So, what do you think? I think the music's too loud. That better, guys? I also vastly improved the level of our mic, so we're probably good now. Yeah. Hmm, it's very freeform. If that's what you call it. Yes. 
I'm sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That's a lot of poems. The, that is, a lot of poems when putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that, because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after one, everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip for the day. Sometimes, when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Right drunk at a sober, motherfuckers. Yeah! Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Does that mean office love is like this fucking ink ocean? Yes. Oh, fuck. Thanks for listening. Alright, Sayuri and Yuri. Children. Children of the chat. Children of the corn. Whatever you want to call yourselves. Who do we choose? Sayuri or Yuri? <laughs> and then were you having trouble writing there, dumbass? Yuri. Yowie. <laughs> Enigma says. I think I think we're gonna do Yuri. How's that, guys? Priest, that means it's your turn to read. Oh, Let's wow. do it! My body's ready! <laughs> Are you trying to have like a really painful like diarrhea or something there, Priest? <laughs> Pencil? Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes. More than enough time for her to finish reading. Um. Oh. Sorry. I forgot to start speaking. <laughs> She's your type, priest. Um. It's fine. Don't force yourself. I I'm not. I'll force her. Sorry. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, oh, okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Er, uh, yeah. Why do you ask? It's fucking awful. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just making sure. By the way, Enigma wants to know. No, this isn't Fluttershy. It's more like a a normal Fluttershy. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Oh, burn! <laughs> ah, so it's that bad. No! Did I just raise my voice? Ugh, I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. We couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine. I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right. Um. It's just that there were specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds a train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. 
There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might just take you some time, but it all comes with practice, and learning by example, and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased, though. Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri's apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Priest is enjoying his scotch. Please, please allow him to enjoy his scotch. Please do. I love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if it... That's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be the literature club? <laughs> Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. I fucking like that! I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of bizarre, but I really like that. It's very stylistic, and it's really interesting. I, I really... I, I'm interested what the meaning and thought process was behind this, but it's very beautiful, and it's very thought-provoking. I love the word flicker, though, specifically, and that's a wonderful way of using it. Just saying. I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you weren't thinking, were you? No. I bet you didn't think about that. No, I didn't. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Oh, that's so many cheeses. Ah. Uh... Well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I want to write something a little more mild. Something to easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, you know? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all in On Pencil. I didn't think it was, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. You know what's killing me? Is that this is going to be horror. I know it's going to be horror, and I know it's a dating sim, but this is actually giving some pretty legitimate writing advice. What?! In totally different areas. It's, 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 it's kind of Babby's first writing advice, but it's good shit. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in it. Are you okay with the Cheez-Its? Oh, uh, thank you so much. Do we need to order ramen later? We might need to order ramen. Well, I mean, what time is it? Like, it'll... 10 o'clock. Uh, it's probably closed, but there's yeah. the late night pizza place. Don't even Oh, cool. No, I'm good. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past. It's soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I'm sorry the chair's squeaking so much, guys. I 
can't really reach the ground very well because my legs are tiny. 